Hello and welcome to this Pundit PI8000 tutorial. Impact Echo, Grid Mode, Setup. On completion of this tutorial, you'll be able to Start the Impact Echo Grid Measuring Mode and define grid lines. Step 1. Create a new measurement. Step 2. Give a name to your project by clicking the pencil symbol on the top of the page. Step 3. Open the menu by pressing the green X button on the upper corner. Then, expand the Mode tab under Measuring Presets submenu. Step 4. Click on Impact Echo Grid. You can select any of the three different measuring modes depending on your needs. Step 5. Select the impactor size you are going to use in the test. There are three different impactors that can be selected according to the expected thickness of the concrete element. Step 6. Now, you can define the grid. Click on the grid right upper corner button and drag it to expand the grid size. Step 7. You can define the grid dimensions by clicking on the intersection of any grid lines. Step 8. Select the dimensions in the X and Y direction and press OK. Step 9. You can also modify the origin of the grid by clicking the pencil symbol in the left bottom corner. Step 10. Enter the starting point coordinates and then press OK. Step 11. You can activate the grid dimensions visualization by clicking on the grid dimension slider. Step 12. You have many directions to perform the measurement. Select one of the proposed ones. Step 13. You can also change the units in the menu position on the Preferences submenu. Step 14. There are two types of color range for the thickness heat map. You can open it by clicking this button. Option A is a red, orange, yellow, green range. Modify the values by sliding up and down the bubbles in the intersection of different colors. Important! Minimum value is fixed to zero and maximum value is equal to the defined expected thickness. Option B is a green scale range. You can change from option A to B by clicking this button. Whenever you are happy with your selection, click Done. If you have updated to version 2.1.0, you will see a new functionality named Smart Disarming. Selecting this feature, the probe will be automatically disarmed whenever it is removed from the concrete surface. Pressing the stop button is no longer needed to disarm the probe. Note that this function may not work correctly in certain circumstances. Fully delaminated concrete, brick wall, etc. If so, please turn it off.